Remember that although we offer solutions to an error you are receiving, our solutions might not perfectly fix your bugs every time. If your errors persist, do not panic. First try the following steps. Search our other debug videos for additional help. Leave us a comment explaining your problem in complete detail. Search the official Unity sites for more help. And finally, search Google for other possible solutions. Enjoy the video. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. For this video, we're going to be doing a little bit more debugging. Now before we get started with the video, we hope you would take some time to download our new mobile game called Snake Cubed. Snake Cubed is a remake of Classic Snake like you've never seen it before, featuring a 3D cube as the playing field and a multiplayer game mode that makes Snake Cubed extremely fun. You can download Snake Cubed for free on both Android and iOS. Thanks for your support and make sure you subscribe. All right, so here we have our presidential slap game open inside of Unity. And the error that we're going to be talking about today is this error that I'm getting right now in the console window. Now this particular error deals with the Unity Add Services. And I've actually received this error a number of times before in several different projects. And through my experience, I've been able to figure out the cause behind this error and some easy solutions as to how to fix it. But let's take a closer look at the error that we're receiving within our console window. The first thing that you'll notice is that it's telling us the location which this error is occurring. And our error is occurring within the ads.cs script. And the next part of this line is the location within that script that the error is occurring. So this first number in parentheses is the line number and the second is the spacing from the left hand side. The error code that we're receiving is an error CS0103. And the message that we're receiving is that the name advertisement does not exist in the current context. Now normally when you get this kind of error message it deals with having something misspelled or something out of place. But in this case, when dealing with the Unity Add Services, it's a little more complicated than that. So let's go ahead and double click on our error message within the console window to open it up in Visual Studios. Now, as you can see here, our Add script is fairly simple. All it really is is one variable, which is the number of times a player can play the game before we try to show them an ad. And then every time the script runs in the start function, we decrement that variable by one. And then we have a public function which will play an ad if the advertisement is ready and if the times variable is less than or equal to zero. But as you can see here, Unity's advertisement class is not recognized within the current context, nor is the Unity engine.advertisement namespace active. Now there's a number of reasons as to why this could be throwing an error. The first one that I'll mention is that it's possible that you don't have the correct build platform selected. The Unity Ad Services is only supported on Android and iOS. So if you don't have one of those platforms selected within your build settings, then it could be throwing an error. Now the best way to fix this is by using what's called platform dependent compilations, which is essentially commenting out sections of your code when certain platforms are not active within your build settings. To do this, all you have to do is open up the section that you want to be commented out by typing hash if. Then you want to follow this hash if with the platforms that you want associated with this segment of code. And so for us, we want Android and iOS. And so we're going to type unity with all caps, underscore, and then Android. Then we need to put double vertical bars for or, and we'll do unity underscore iOS. Then you need to jump to the end of the section that you want commented out and you need to type hash and if. Now Unity has a whole documentation on the different platforms and keywords that you can use with these special if statements and I'll link that in the description below. But as you can see our code is still active and we're still receiving these errors. That's because the current platform we have selected within our build settings is Android. And so we're receiving this error message because of another reason. The next possible reason as to why we're receiving this error message is because we have not enabled our Unity Add Services. And so I'm going to go back to Unity 
and I'm going to click on the services tab. Now I've already gone ahead to register this project with the Unity services. And so if you haven't done that already, you're going to want to make sure that you select your account from the drop down menu and hit the create button. This will create a project ID associated with your Unity account and you'll be able to find out more information about your project and the different services Unity provides by clicking on the go to dashboard button at the top of the services window. But as you can see within the services tab, I do not currently have my ads enabled. And so I'm going to click on that service and then I'm going to toggle on this switch. Now even after you enable the Unity Ad Services, it's still possible that you could be receiving the same error message within your console window. If this is the case, I would advise that you first save your project and then close it. You'll then want to open the location of your project within your file system and you'll want to delete the library folder. Once the library folder is deleted, we can then go ahead and reopen our project. By deleting the library folder and then reopening your project, Unity will automatically recreate the library folder with the default files. So now that our Unity project has been refreshed, you can see that we're no longer receiving those two error messages within our console window. However, this could also be because when we delete the library folder, some settings get reset to default. And so if we open up our build settings, here you can see that we're no longer set to our Android build which also means that our advertisement scripts have been commented out. And so let's go ahead and switch back over to our Android build. So now we've set our project to build for Android and you can see that we're still not receiving any error messages within the console, which means we've fixed the problem. But just to double check, let's go ahead and open our ad script within Visual Studios. And here you can see that Unity's advertisement class is now recognized indicated by the green coloring. So there you go, we were able to fix the problem. Now if you ever received this error message where it claims that the name advertisement is not recognized within the current context, then try the three steps that I pointed out in this tutorial. First you want to make sure that you have the correct build platform selected. And if you don't, then you want to make sure that you're using the platform dependent compilations. If that doesn't work, then you want to make sure that you have the Unity Ad Services enabled. And finally, if you're still receiving those error messages, then you can delete your library folder and reopen your project. I hope this video was helpful and that it pointed you in the right direction. If you found it to be beneficial, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date on all our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.